Hi there everyone. Today I'm going to be shooting these splatter targets with the 4.5 steel millimeter BBs out of my newly acquired Glock 17 Gen 4 CO2 blowback pistol and I might just include some slow motion. Let's take a look. Apologies for the wind, it's uh, really going at it today. So this has a removable magazine. There's the steel BBs in the front, hold 17. Probably get away with 18, but 17's a uh, you know, comfortable limit. CO2's in the base there, so it's pretty weighty. You've got your realistic round count window at the back there. So as you'd expect, plastic frame on a Glock. Extended sort of mag release, a bit bigger than a standard one. Um, slide release there, takedown lever actually works on this, you can take the top slide off. Standard Gen 4 Glock sights. The uh, serial number area under here on a realistic, on an actual real Glock. Um, has been replaced by external safety so it's on F for fire I just need to cock it and then uh, fire it because it's already been shot so the, str the trigger stays back when there's no CO2 in the gun haven't shot this before so it should be fun let's test it out So I took a couple shots there. Actually, uh, the impact point's about three inches low from where you're aiming, uh, only about ten feet, uh, ten yards, whatever it is. So I've had the first malfunction. As you can see, that little white dot uh, is a BB. There you go, BB stuck in the barrel, in the uh, start of the barrel in the chamber. So. Luckily enough, this comes with a unboxing rod, which should be in here somewhere. There we go, cast aluminium rod, and I'm just going to shove that down the end of the barrel. There we go. Let's see if it was just one or two. It was two. Don't know why that happened. There we are. Maybe these BBs are just uh, like a hair bigger than what they're meant to be for this pistol. Because I think it's just an O-ring that holds the BB in place um, before it's fired. Oh well, take another shot. See how it goes. I'll leave those ones out of the magazine and just use what's left in here. Could be that the CO2 is really cold and just not having enough power to shoot those forward. We will see. First person view. Now, I think it is maybe the temperature. These keep getting stuck in the barrel, so I'm going to stop using those and switch to these copper coated BBs. See if they work. If not, I'll be taking the gun back. Right, loaded up with another 17 shots, full magazine. 
CO2 has been used a little bit, but it shouldn't affect it at all. Probably like three quarters full. Time to the test. Right, here we go. Once again, different ammo. Let's see if it works. Uh, put the safety on. Here we go. Nope, still shit. Something's wrong with the gun. Right, I'll have to take this back. That's it for the video. See you later. Okay, so I actually phoned Gilders where I got this pistol from and they said, oh, we don't normally have any problems with them and all that. I said, I'd take it in. Should I take the CO2 cartridge out or not? They said, yes, we'll just put a new one in and test it in the shop. Took the CO2 out and as you can see, it's not even fully perforated at the top. The valve, the valve hasn't actually punctured it at all. Um, I know it looks like it there, but I was trying to stab a fork in it and um, trying to get it to open. Um, it seemed like it was completely solid and there's no sort of easy foil to penetrate at the top there. I think what's happened is maybe the CO2 was coming out from the sort of crimped gap around it. But anyway, this one's bad. I put a new one in there now and I've just managed to fire a complete magazine through it with the steel BBs. So uh, I'm going to load another one up. Okay, so as you can see on that target there, I fired a full magazine already. Uh, just changed the CO2 because it turned out the CO2 was bad. It didn't perforate the uh, cartridge properly when I inserted it inside the magazine and tightened it. So I've got a full magazine here and now I'm just going to shoot the target. Just for fun, not trying to be too accurate or anything. Here we go. Perfect. So, my gun does work and now I'm very happy and not going to be grumpy for the rest of the day. Yeah, works absolutely fine. Um, a few of them, or probably a lot of them, were probably hitting around here. That's because the gun shoots like three to four inches low <laughs> where you're actually trying to shoot. So, um, yeah, for these ones, I had to aim sort of where this screw was up here. I heard someone did an uh, easy modification where they put a bit of tape around the inner barrel because this one here is just a mock barrel and then you've got the uh, real one inside which is made of brass I think. Um, just going to load up another mag and take a few shots maybe at this little pumpkin slash squash whatever the hell that is and a can. And obviously I'm going to film it now in slow motion see if we can see that slide coming back. 17 more loaded up. Take a few shots with it. Got the splatter target down there so it's easy to see when it does hit. And I'll have to aim 3 4 inches high.
There we go, works absolutely fine now. So happy with it. I think some of those were bouncing off here and hitting the can as they fell down off the target. I've got like loads of uh, towels here and an archery backstop just to absorb all the impact. They're all falling down on the floor. As you can see, most of those went around here. I was aiming. Sorry to everyone about the quality of that video. Um, you know, I was just a bit annoyed after the gun wasn't working. So that is what a bad CO2 cartridge looks like. Compare that to a good one. It's an obvious difference. The one on the left was the bad one, that's why the gun wasn't actually getting enough gas. And the one on the right is the good one. As you start to lose gas with this, it does start to get the uh, barrel obstruction and uh, you know failure to fire. But that's just because there's not enough gas, so that's no problem with the gun itself. That's just because you're running out of CO2. Overall, success. Fixed it without having to take it back. Did some shooting, it was pretty fun. I'll definitely shoot it again when it's not so cold and windy. Have a good day.